Welcome to Cardinal Film Fights, the best uh, Cardinal Film Fights location in your computer. Uh, I'm Stephen Mason, your lovely and wonderful and handsome and beautiful Jost, your judge and your host. I'm trademarking that. Nobody take it. Uh, here at Cardinal Film Fights, we like to debate opinions. Each fighter right here, these three lovely gentlemen, but not as lovely as me, will be given 60 seconds to have an opinion on a movie, and they'll debate it and say what they think is their opinion. And then five minutes will be given to uh, an open forum to have them all uh, pick, up other, pick apart each other's opinions and say why they're right and they are wrong. And uh, 30 seconds will be given for a conclusion. And um, then I will tell each of them that they are special little boys and uh, their mothers love them, and who's first, second, and third places. But before that, uh, we have a drawing. If you like going to movies, which you probably do because you're watching a movie-based trivia debate show, uh, you probably like going to movies. And where else to go to movies other than the movie theater? Uh, here at Cardinal Film Fights, we're having a giveaway for an AMC gift card. Uh, if you don't like paying for movies, you should probably try to get this. If you want to get in on it, go to Twitter or Instagram at Card Film Fights and throw your name into the sweepstakes and who knows, maybe you'll win. You probably won't because that's how odds work, but hey, it's worth a shot. So uh, I've been talking up here for a good too long. Uh, <laughs> who are these people? We'll start at the end with the biggest disappointment in the world. All right. My name is Max Van Dongen. Again, I am a TCOM major with a poli sci and screenwriting minor. Shout out to Daisy Ridley for the last time. And uh, yeah, I'm a pretty disappointing guy. What? Oh, you done? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, uh, you, uh, the, in the Blackhawks shirt. Yeah, I'm Dean yeah, Lupiter. Dean. Go and on. Uh, I'm a TCOM major and a junior, and I forgot what the question was that we were supposed no to question. answer. Um, there was no question? Okay, um, if Daisy Ridley knocked on your door, what, uh, what would you say to her? What are you doing here? Go make the last Star Wars. Don't let it suck. Okay. And uh, finish this off. Sky Wilson, Sky Wilson. TCOM major, v Digital Video Productions, junior. Uh, can I get your autograph? And can you kiss me, please? Mm -mm. You're, you're a gorgeous woman. I, okay. I, want to, I want to take you out to, to a nice place. Okay. Should please respectfully marry me. tell you no. Thanks, Sky. Daisy, Daisy, really, please, if you're, if you're okay. watching, please, okay. please. Why didn't you ask me that question? <laughs> because you don't deserve happiness. <laughs> you know? Can you take me on a date, please. You can stop now. That's pretty. over. Security. I'm single. All right, so we all know how Hollywood loves to milk a franchise. They uh, throw in sequels, and occasionally they'll throw in a prequel. I'm still looking forward to Lamps. And, um, <laughs> you know, sometimes they'll get the coveted trilogy. But uh, trilogies usually have a habit of having a very lackluster third movie. But sometimes they have a very good last third movie. Uh, so that raises the question. What's the best third movie in a trilogy? So uh, we'll start with uh, Max. All right. Take it away. <laughs> Only one of these movies has swept the Oscars in its run, and that was The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Best picture, best director, best original music score, best adapted screenplay, best visual effects, best film editing, best production design, best costume design, best sound mixing, best makeup, best original song, and those are just the winning categories, not the nominees included. One of the best trilogies of all time of the great adventurous story of temptation and power, and the best one in the series of Return of the King, without question. Incredible, incredible. He's returning with a vengeance, people. Hide your wallets. Now, um, Dean, what's your pick? To preface this choice, um, my movie is the best third movie in a trilogy. It is not the best movie that is also a third movie. I am not debating my fight against, or my movie against your two. I'm debating my movie against the rest of its trilogy because Star Wars Revenge of the Sith is the best of the prequel movies. The other two prequel movies are hot garbage. Uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones are terrible, but Revenge of the Sith is actually pretty decent and compared to the other two, it is far better. Your movie comes from a fantastic trilogy of films, but I can't even argue that Return of the King is the best one, and I can't argue against yours because you haven't said what it is yet, 
But I can safely say that if we're comparing a movie to the trilogy as a whole, Revenge of the Sith is leagues above the other two films in the trilogy. Mm-hmm. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> make that. Sorry, folks who don't get the reference. Also that was the best one yet. That movie. So uh, good luck in the comments section. And uh, Skyler, finish us off. I was not expecting that. You no know, one ever does. <laughs> okay, so, so I'll be honest with you. There's not a lot of good trilogies out there, and this one is perhaps like one of the very few exceptions where a third film, third film, uh, a third movie. In a film and trilogy is actually pretty damn good, and that film is none other than Toy Story 3. Yes, I have bashed it earlier for its originality here, but as a film of a trilogy that builds upon the characters and continues building up on it to what should have been a great send off to the great send off to the series, is one of the best trilogy, one of the best third movies in the trilogy to date. And that's all I got. Okay. So did everybody appreciate that lightsaber joke? Yeah. I worked really hard on it. You, you I thought threw it was me off guard. guard. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Mom. And, uh, okay, without further ado, Return of the King, Toy Story 3, and Revenge of the Sith. So uh, the best third movie, and without further ado, do it. So, like, Toy Story 3 and Return of the King both come from franchises that are already really good. Like, I'm not arguing that your movies aren't good. They are. Like, Toy Story 3 is really good, but can I say it's the best movie in that trilogy? No, I think Toy Story 2 is actually better. Isn't can I say that Return of the King is the best movie in Lord of the Rings? No, I'd actually say Two Towers is better. Well, isn't your, but, you're comparing the third movie, not to the other two, right? Well, the it's trilogy? best third movie yeah, in the sure, trilogy that's is the, the argument. Trilogy here. Could yeah, go either yeah. way. It was oh, up to the way. fighters. Shit, either way. All right. It was both ways, people. So, Revenge of the Sith is fantastic compared to the other two prequels, and it's actually... Well, it doesn't say much. A pr- but, well, no, but I could argue that it's actually a pretty good movie. It's got some of the best fight scenes in all of Star Wars. There's that fantastic but, but even, opening space battle. Okay. There's the best lightsaber fight in all of Star Wars, which is Obi-Wan versus Anakin. Yeah, all right. It's too even choreographed, then, even, man. Yeah, Nobody no, likes no, that. He, here's the thing with that one. As much, as, I, as much of a Star Wars fan as I am, but there were still some flaws with episode three that oh, I had Oh, of course with there here. were. And that being with the, the final fight scene against Anakin and Obi-Wan, I felt like that was just way too prolonging it. It was just like overextending it. And, and Hayden Christensen's acting. I mean, it, well, no, but it, here's no, the it's thing. Not that. It's just like the, the whole Star Wars element itself here and the way it sends off to the episode to A New Hope, which for me as a Star Wars fan, I would rather much that the trilogy would have been on its own and then we had the pre then the original trilogy. Here, it was just kind of like they were spoiling a lot of what made the original trilogy so well, good, but like revealing who. Uh, but the Luke's people who are is. going to see the prequels already know what's going on in but, Star Wars. Yeah. There was no way they could have written the prequels so it didn't spoil the originals. If but, you're going to have Anakin be the main character, I can also say that while Hayden Christensen's acting in Attack of the Clones is abysmal, he's actually much more believable in this one as someone who's really struggling with his decision to turn still to the dark side. Yeah, great though. But yeah, still but, but, but still, but still. And I think a lot of that can be owed to George Lucas's writing. I don't blame him or well, his Well, that affects acting. the but movie as a whole, though. But so still, you could say that the movie's not but as still, good as I mean, these it, two. It also kind of makes the franchise a little confusing to someone uh, who wants Return to Return of the King. Number seven on IMDb. All right, if you're going to start bringing up Oscars you here, cannot Oscars bring up is the IMDb fucking IMDb bullshit. List. All right, and why can you not do that? Right, number seven movie of because all time? it's all objective yeah, rankings. And even then, even I'm then, yes. even then, though, Return of the King is not that. Is it's okay compared to the rest of it, but Return why? of the King, Return of the King, why? Yeah. Okay, it's overblow the CGI effects here. That what what made the Two Towers so great? Yes, it has some CGI Best elements to it. Visual effects. Two Towers. Two thousand four Oscars. Guess what? Guess what? The endings don't matter forever. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oscars don't get. Oscars doesn't matter. Here, here, ever heard a thing called for your consideration? Look, see. All right, let me give you, let me give you an example here. All right, and the Oscar of Best Picture goes to my wallet here. All right, freaking Oscars like galore here. Harvey Weinstein, who is notorious and thank God he's out of the business here. Has okay, been but that's you just making freaking... a joke about your wallet winning best picture. Yeah, You're but not here's on the thing. Here's the thing. Your that Oscars, does what you Oscars just said does not matter at shit. Oscars ain't for shit here, all right? It's just like, hey, yes, it does. who has more it's money swept here? Let's give more money pretty here. Much. All right. I was getting hey, tired just listening to this. Disregarding the Academy Awards, right like, here, right? Two oh, Towers is objectively a better film than Return of the King. More money. It's got much higher stakes. Yes, even then, the fight, the final battle of Two Towers was 
fucking fantastic. Okay, but it those, just okay, the gorgeous. prior two do not matter. We're talking Return about the King, third movie Return in a trilogy. Like, no, but we are talking about the, the trilogy ending, as a whole. We're ending, talking about the third movie, movie King, in a trilogy. The ending to Return the King is just the best movie in a trilogy. Best third movie in a trilogy. And your movie is not the best third movie in a trilogy. It's been overbloated as hell. CGI glory here. Best visual shit. But even then, though, the Oscars doesn't matter where for shit. Listen, nobody's tried to tear down your movie yet, so I'll take a stab at it. Toy Story. Story 3 tries way too hard to elicit an emotional response. And you knock down I your originality it's fine, too. But Toy Story 2 yeah. is objectively better. It's got a much more believable conflict. It's pretty much it a carbon doesn't copy feel like of they're Tar- trying. Toy Story 2. But even yeah. then, though, You can just Toy replace the Watson with the Prospector. You yeah. Want, you want to talk it's about the, the Oscars here? I'll bring back the Oscar co- conversation with you okay. and tell you how bullshit they are and how Lord of the Rings is overblown uh, mess here, all right? All this right. is where Peter Jackson kind of loses steam here of great movies here. And even then, though, Toy Story 3 was built off of two two films that came before it, and we already knew who the characters so are. All it these is movies. great. Right, so both <laughs> and of your it, series are built on yes, great and franchises. Your film is, and yet your third film is based off of prequels where two other films were kind of hot garbage right. here. And exactly. Even then, the first three two movies are hot garbage. hot garbage. So it's the well best here. third movie even in a then, trilogy. Yeah, but even then, though, it's still hot garbage. It ruins it's what not, they, though. They, what ruins a great surprise about the original trilogy of Luke Skywalker? But you were never going to preserve that Yours surprise. And like plus, it's, it's an iconic hey, part it's of film Oscars history. Here. Guess what? I, it made some money here. It is through money to, for the for a golden statue here. Towards Revenge of the Sith has some of the two best films fight scenes to ever, the characters and, and great give them a great send off. Gave great payoff to the fight between Obi Wan and Anakin. Or no belt as hell. All right, all right. Uh, keep it in the ring. Okay. Um, Thirty seconds. For Max, take it away. Okay, yes, the Oscars do matter. I know you just keep saying that. They do. It's a collection of votes, and they voted. It swept everything. Money. Yours was nominated, did not win Best Picture. Um, Hayden Christian's act of seeing George Lucas's script just bad for Revenge of the Sith. Mine is an epic climax to a very epic series, The Adventure. It's amazing. All the characters, the lines, my precious. It's it's memorable. It's amazing. Uh, Toy Story 3 is basically a carbon copy of Toy Story 2. You could just replace the Lots of with Prospector. It's the exact same thing. All right. So uh, Toy Story 3, how's that? Well, here's the thing. Toy Story 3 doesn't need an Oscar to prove how good it was. All right? Toy Story 3 is a great style to a franchise, what started, what made it great. And we're here, they got a film that tries tries trying to uh, show us how great it was with Golden Statue. Even then, it might as well show how big bags of money here. It's overblown. Episode 3 is based off of prequels where they were not that great and it's just somehow made this good. It, shiny Turd is still a turd. Interesting philosophy you got there. Shiny Turd, still a turd. You gotta write that down. Okay. Um, and Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith has a great final payoff to show how Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. It also is leagues above the other two prequel films which means it's the best third movie in a trilogy, but even compared to the two of yours, I think that it has some of the best emotional stakes, and your movie isn't the best in your trilogy, and neither is yours, but my film is by far so much better than the two that came before it. Interesting, interesting. You know, people, you gotta realize, I am the cynic! (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I just had to make that. I don't get that reference. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't leave. I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. Fact checker. It's in, it's in um, anything? Uh, oh, yeah. So, Max, when you said um, that uh, Toy Story 3 was nominated for an Oscar but didn't win it, were you talking about Best Picture? Best Picture. Okay, yeah, correct. Mm-hmm. That's it. What did it win? It won no, best for animated Best Animated picture. Feature. Okay. But that doesn't matter. Right. Well, that same thing Max as yours. Didn't say that. Awards like, oh, your Oscars don't matter. All right. So, uh, after. A round of careful consideration, and by careful consideration, I mean three seconds of just humming to myself. Uh, I have come to the conclusion that number three in the best third is uh, none other than Toy Story 3. Mm-hmm. Um, while it did have uh, the Oscar win, as they said, and it was a good send off, it, um, it kind of didn't have many points that you were propating other than that. And like they kind of said that it was a carbon copy of two. And um, yeah, you just couldn't get some steam going. And while it's a good movie, just uh, kind of fell flat in the argument. So uh, Toy Story 3, number three. So I think we kind of know 
uh, Revenge of the Sith is number two. Um, while it was better than Clone Wars and Phantom Menace, uh, it is still a Star Wars prequel. And uh, even though you said that it ruins the whole vibe, that's pretty much what a prequel does. It's like it comes before the story after we've seen what it is, and how the, that's just people know what was going to happen. So I didn't take it off. And um, you said the fights were good. There were a lot of fights that were like very well choreographed, to, but Max said they were over choreographed, and I could kind of understand that. And that just leaves Revenge, or not Revenge, but uh, Return of the King. Imagine Revenge of the King. <laughs> Crazy. Um, it's the only one that swept like the Oscars really heavily, and it's like the only fantasy movie that's ever gotten an Oscar Best Picture. Uh, is that I true? I think might be. I wouldn't doubt it. Line with Shape of Water recently, but uh, Grinding Nemo. Yeah, at the time it was the first. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, that well wins there. Anyway, um, and even though Oscars don't matter, <laughs> just the fact that it won it's all of them. Yeah, more it's, money than anything else. Yeah. All right. Okay, we get money talks. Okay, mm -hmm. got you there. And it was uh, just Art's a dead. great movie to a uh, great franchise. So in retrospect, it was Toy Story thir three third, Revenge of the Sith second, and Return of the King first. Max, you actually managed to win one. <sighs> Thank you, Daisy. You stopped being a disappointment, but not really though. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, remember <laughs> to check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram to see that uh, AMC gift card raffle prize drawing uh, at uh, at Cardinal Card Film Fight. I think that yeah. And um, for all of us here, except for Max because he's a loser, but a slightly less loser now. Congratulations, <laughs> Max. I love you. Except I don't. I hate him. Don't tell him. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this ending has gone on for too long. Goodbye, Just everybody. like Return of the King. Exactly. I'm just about to say that. <laughs> That's the joke I had meant to do. I thought of it. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>